welcome guys now in this video we will start kingdom monera so before starting kingdom monera let us first move on to our ncrt and let us highlight some important points in which is given in our ncrt so let's see now here you can see the earlier classification system included bacteria blue green algae fungi mosses ferns gymnosperms and the angiosperm under plants means the earlier system of classification in included all these organisms under plants now the character that unified this whole kingdom the character that unified this plant kingdom was that all the organisms mean the organisms of the plant kingdom they had a cell wall in their cells now here important it is not so important here important is fungi and the autotrophic green plants though they also showed a characteristic difference in their cell wall composition what is that difference the difference is fungi has chitin in their cell wall and the green plants had a cellulosic cell wall in the in my previous video i have already told that it is very important that fungi had chitin in their cell wall and green plants had cellulosic cell wall many times question have been framed from this line that fungi had chitin a cell wall green plants have cellulosic cell wall so this line is important now see all prokaryotic organisms are grouped under kingdom monera and the unicellular eukaryotic organisms are placed in kingdom protista now kingdom protista contain unicellular eukaryotic organisms and the rest other kingdoms kingdom fungi planti animalia they contain multicellular eukaryotic unicellular eukaryotic organisms are present only in kingdom protista and as kingdom monera you know all are prokaryotic organisms now this is very important this line that kingdom monera has brought together chlamydomonas and chlorella which was earlier placed in algae within the plants and both having cell walls with paramecium and amoeba which are earlier placed in kingdom animalia which lack cell wall earlier it was believed that the organisms that having the organisms having cell wall they will be placed under kingdom plants and organisms that don't have cell wall they are placed in the animal kingdom but kingdom protista after the discovery of this five kingdom classification kingdom protista it has brought together chlamydomonas and chlorella which was earlier placed in algae within plants in algae within plants milk means within the plant kingdom there are certain divisions algae bryophyte teridophytes liverworts gymnosperm and gymnosperm we will study this in plant kingdom chapter so this chlamydomonas and chlorella was placed in algae within the plants now it has it have it has been shifted to kingdom protista as well as paramecium and amoeba which were earlier placed in animal kingdom because they lack cell wall now it has now now this has been shifted to kingdom protista so kingdom protista has brought together chlamydomonas chlorella from the plant kingdom and paramecium and amoeba from the animal kingdom so question may be framed from this line so please highlight this line now let us see kingdom monera now kingdom monera means bacteria the sole members of kingdom monera are bacteria now these bacteria they are the most abundant microorganisms on this earth now vast majority now note it down that vast majority maximum majority of the bacteria they are heterotrophs that is they can't produce their own food which type of heterotrophs parasitic and saprophytic others the minority of the bacteria they are autotrophic maximum bacteria are heterotrophic and mini and the rest they are autotrophic that is they can prepare their own food now this is a very important line that is given in ncrt that bacteria as a group shows the most extensive metabolic diversity 
Now, what, what does it mean? Now, bacteria are the only organisms that have the most extensive metabolic diversity. Metabolism means chemical reactions that are taking place inside a cell, means which may be anabolic and catabolic. Catabolic means breaking down, anabolic means something forming, formation of some chemicals or some products. Now, they show the most extensive diversity means various and various diversity means various types of metabolism. Both anabolism and catabolism are seen in this bacteria. Why? Why they, why they require this diversity of metabolism? Because this diversity of metabolism help them to live in harsh and unfavorable condition. Means they can live in hot springs in desert snow and deep oceans for example archaebacteria this metabolic diversity help the bacteria to live in very stressful condition the example is archaebacteria this see in several harsh environments such as salty areas in hot springs or marshy areas okay we will see about this archaebacteria in our next video now these are some important points that are given in NCRT. So please do remember these points which may be asked in your which of the following statements are correct or incorrect type of questions. Now classifications of the bacteria. In your NCRT it is given that the bacteria are classified. They are grouped on the basis of their shapes into four groups. The cocci, bacilli, spirilla, vibrio. Now the spherical type of bacteria, these are called cocci. The bacteria which are rod shaped, these are called bacilli. And spiral shaped bacteria, as you can see, these are spiral shaped bacteria which contain flagella. Now this is important. Spiral shaped bacteria contain flagella which is called spirilla as well as bacilli. The rod shaped bacteria, they contain spores and comma shaped these are called vibrio comma shaped bacteria now important is that spiral shaped bacteria have flagella and rod shaped that is called bacilli they have spore now let's see our ncrt so guys now bacteria are the sole members of the kingdom monera as i have already told so guys now See, bacteria are the sole members of the kingdom Monera. Monera means bacteria. They are most abundant microorganisms. Bacteria occur almost everywhere. Hundreds of the bacteria are present in handful of soil. They also live in extreme habitats such as hot springs, deserts, snow, deep oceans, where very few other life forms can survive. Now, which, which features of bacteria help them to survive in this harsh environment? That is, this most extensive metabolic diversity. Now, many of them live in or on other organisms as the parasites. So, these lines are important, which may be asked as which of the following statements are correct or incorrect. Now bacteria are grouped under four categories on their shape. I have already told spherical cocci, rod shaped bacillus, then comma shaped vibrium, also called vibrio, spiral shaped spirulum. Now spiral shaped have flagella, bacilli have spores. Now this picture is important. This pictures. Though the bacteria structure is simple, they are very complex in behavior. Compared to many other organisms, bacteria as a group shows the most extensive metabolic diversity. I have explained it earlier. Now, some of the bacteria are autotrophic, that is they can synthesize own food. This will be photosynthetic or chemosynthetic. The vast majority of the bacteria are heterotrophs. They depend on other organisms or on dead other organisms means these are parasites and that depends on the dead organic matter for the food are the saprophytes now this is also given in this table see autotrophic chemosynthetic and photosynthetic heterotrophic saprophytic and parasitic kingdom monera so now in this video we have seen kingdom monera in our next video we will see archaebacteria and eubacteria so thank you guys please do subscribe to this channel and which will motivate me to make more such 
videos of NCRT and, and I will and I will teach you the whole NCRT line by line after understanding the concept. So thank you guys. Keep studying.